Sinoret spent more than $500,000 and the project will benefit about 100 people. It is the brainchild of Sinoret within uh, the ESI, which is uh, electricity supply industry. And as such, this project will electrify uh, peri-urban areas, also known as uh, informal settlements. And we do so at no cost, because these are our people. Why do we do so at no cost? Because we believe strongly that uh, electricity is a catalyst in uh, social and economic development. Speaking at the commissioning, Ocho Councillor Johannes Antino says the project complements the ongoing council program of linking the settlements to the main water pipeline. This project is part of our vision as a government and the community of provision of service in a form of infrastructure in development because we believe that every community is entitled to the same quality of life regardless of wherever they find themselves in our motherland. Also speaking at the occasion was Ocho Mayor Samuel Toyam said. The need for electricity is growing on a massive rate due to influx from people from commercial farms and lotus around Ocho. Our informal settlements are growing, so as the shareholders of Senoret, we shall, as council and regional council responsible for the development of Ocho constituency, always maintain our good relationship with Senoret to ensure that the rest of other areas are also electrified. We have other settlements that does not have electricity at the current moment, such as Cap and Bow, Seven De Land, and part of Camp 5, and Samstan Phase 2. George Geisep, who waited more than 29 years, could not hide his joy. Well, not bad, thank you, sir, for Maya. I just want to say thank you very much to the mayor, who heard our cries to give us electricity, and Sinoret, who also helped us. Thank you to Councillor so Antino that he also helped us. When we came to meetings, we were not rebellious in our demands, but sought agreement for Council to assist electrifying our houses. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Ocho.